In today's video, I'm gonna go shoot with this. It's a film camera. I've been shooting photos for over 10 years and I've built a whole entire business off of it. But this presents a whole new bunch of challenges that I need to learn from. So I'm going out to the mountains with my buddy Aaron. We're gonna put a roll of film in here and we're gonna take about 18 photos. Some of them may or may not turn out because shooting film photography, you might miss some. Uh, but I'm excited to bring you guys along. We're gonna do a point of view shoot and I'm gonna see if any of these photos turn out. I'm also bringing my Fujifilm. So we've got Fujifilm film in my film camera and I've got my Fuji X100V that we're gonna use to kind of compare the images as well. I'm excited to see how the images differ. We've got a 28 millimeter lens on the film camera and approximately 35 mil lens on the Fuji X100V. Are you in it or no? No, I'm not in it. That spot foiled. First location is a dud. Because uh, this is where they come pick up all the kids, apparently. <laughs> so satisfying. How do you even know if it's in focus? Seriously! <laughs> I don't know, man. At our first location, it became pretty evident that the 28 millimeter wasn't the best lens for this spot. We even got kicked out pretty quick, um, but it, it's actually pretty scary to pull the, the shutter on one of these cameras because you really only get one shot. So you wanna make sure that your exposure is as good as you can. The camera I'm using has a light meter in it, but it's actually quite hard to see. So I actually was using the Fuji to get my settings set exactly the same. I would set the ISO to the same as the film stock. I would set the aperture the same and then set my shutter speed on the Fuji so that I could get a good gauge on how to use my film camera. Okay, cocked it. I'm gonna make sure the exposure is right. That's that. Shutter speed is 250. After four, be bright. Probably. It's pretty bright. I did oh, overexposed it. I think we're in focus. Okay. Three, two. It's so scary. I'll get one of you. One more left. It's nice having the backup. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna park the car like straight on here, even though it's like illegal. It's not illegal, but like who's around? I'm just gonna like back it against the ridge. I love the way the Volkswagen's doors sound. It's just so dirty. Problem. I really can't tell if this light meter works at all. Okay, so that's 1,000, about 500. Oh, that's, that's better. Okay, so we're gonna do 500 shutter. And the aperture's at four. I 
grab one of them. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa! Bro! No, same thing like walking. Stand here. But turn around. Walking here, so like parallel to the wheel and then like eyes up to the left. And then like walk a little. Like, I don't know, just do like a normal walk. Like you wanna go take a photo of the mountain. So like don't walk towards the vehicle, walk towards the mountain. Three, two, one. I forgot to hit record on the GoPro for this particular set of images, but I had an idea that I wanted to shoot through the window uh, and see Aaron taking photos out in the Rocky Mountains while still having the GTI badge in the far right corner. I'm actually really happy with how this image turned out. It's, it's exposed pretty well, which is the big thing, and the focus was actually on as much as possible. So this shot looks good. I'm using my Fuji film to make sure the settings are right. So it looks like 250 shutter speed, aperture of four, ISO set to the same as the film stock. And that gives you a shot like this. Can I do that shot of you out the windshield? Yeah. Okay, so I, I wanna try and like frame the mountain, then you, then the steering wheel. So you'll be like hopefully center framed and then the car will be like left quarter, mountain will be top quarter. I don't know if I need to be in the back seat or front seat for this, but we'll, we'll see. I'll start in the front seat actually. Uh, we're losing light slowly but surely. This is definitely, this is a better vertical shot. I'm gonna have to take it vertical. Do you wanna like turn and face? Yeah, and then back up just a little. Yeah, we'll start there. I'm gonna try and get a vertical. Can you take a step forward? That's not very good POV, is it? Oh, I never in focus. Focus. There you go. Okay. Can I get some like portraits of you like sitting in the car? What? I want you to do this. Yeah. <laughs> oh. We ain't advertising no bubbly here. Okay, sit out as far as you can. Do you want to wreck the bolster? That's fine. <laughs> oh, yes! This is gonna look good! Okay, look over here again. Look past me over my shoulder and sit up just as much as you can without. Getting the roof line? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that'll work. Hold this. Settings. Oh shit, I didn't even adjust the settings appropriately <laughs> on the last one. Oh, God. Okay. Film. Want me to look at you or where? Just trying to get that frame nice. I want, you're like a little too stoic. It, like, do you think you can give me an authentic like like laugh smile? Because yeah. it looks it looks way better to me. <laughs> okay. Uh, wait, focus, focus. I think we're there. Okay, look over my shoulder and do that chuckle thing. <laughs> I don't know! <laughs> ah. Let me get one of you here. How do I know when I'm done? Pull 33 out of... You're almost there, there. yeah. Okay, so I got this tube light in here, fill in the light a bit, because I want to get an interior shot. Oh yeah, that light's killing it. Okay, something like this. According to the Fuji, I need more like a 30 shutter speed. So we're gonna bring this down to 3.5, bring this down to 30. Just trying to get as much of that mountain in there. Okay. Can you get in the driver's seat? 
Let me get, let me get this shot set up because it'll take me forever anyway. That'll work. Maybe it won't. So this setting. Okay, 40. 2.2. Can you move the other seat back a little bit? Yeah, perfect. Look at, uh, out the window. I don't know what's the What do you feel most comfortable with? I just know. That, 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 that. I didn't wind it. <laughs> now I've pulled it out of focus. Jeez, this is not easy. Okay. Ah. Cool. Maybe I'll do a vertical one of that too. Oh! Maybe. That might be it. Okay, let me do it. Let me see if it, if it, if it goes. Three, two. No, that's it! That's that it. was the last shot! That was it. Last shot. Out in the beautiful mountains. Now we gotta see if any of these turned out. I have no idea. The interesting thing about this film camera is it brings you really back to the basics of the triad of aperture, shutter speed, and ISO. I'm always interested when you guys ask the questions of, you know, like what settings are you using? Uh, that's very subjective to where you are and what your surroundings are. So I actually just finished filming a course answering the questions on how to use your camera. And it kind of was inspired by this film camera. So keep your eyes peeled for that. As always guys, I do appreciate your time and I hope that you enjoy this i hope that you learned a lesson or two and can see a bit into my process of shooting film if you enjoyed this video you might enjoy that one there if you enjoy automotive content or want to learn more about how to take photos and videos using cars then subscribe to the channel here and i hope i'll see you guys in the next one peace